hey, how's it going? I'm feeling a lot better. I'm still sick. I still got the cough and the, the sinus issues, but uh, I'm doing much better than I was. So in this video, I want to discuss why it is that I believe if Trump becomes president, we're going to have a really, really nasty kind of cultural shift. And the reason is, ever since Trump started showing signs that he could become the primary candidate for the Republican Party, um, ever since the, the an idea of that being possible came into place, I started seeing cultural changes. I started seeing people discuss uh, races, uh, minorities in general, uh, things that they don't understand in these very bigoted manners. It just... And so I'd say we're already about 15% there when it comes to uh, how we've culturally changed. And I don't mean just on social media or YouTube. I mean in person as well. The ways that people talk about subjects. In some ways, it kind of represents a lot of the conversations you saw in the families on the movie American History X. Um, there, there's some of that. And then apply that same kind of method of talking about subjects to any subject that people don't really understand. Groups of people they don't really understand. That's what's come up. And we're like 15% already towards that goal. Since, especially since, uh, maybe it's closer to 20% now. Um, since it's shown that Trump really does have a real potential of winning. Another element to the, the mindset is included this thing of whether online or whether in person, you could verbally abuse someone until they're in tears. Then when they're crying, you could say, well, nothing I, can, I say can make you feel anything. That kind of thing. Someone could just verbally abuse their wife and then state, you know, nothing I say can make you feel anything. You could say a bunch of truly racially insensitive, really, really, truly nasty things to someone in that regard. And then afterwards, just say, well, nothing I say can make you feel anything. Insult gay people. Some of the nastiest insults you can think of. And then when they show themselves as being hurt by it, you go, well, nothing I say can make you feel anything. And then, of course, during the process of some of this, on social media, on places like YouTube, people who were normally very, very much against some of the traditional ways that, that we did things, people who really did want to make change, people who wanted to get rid of some of the damage that religion causes people who some some people would say people uh uh you know we should uh, obliterate religion altogether are now saying things like well you know christianity in the united states uh it's nothing to worry about islam is the real threat So, you know, and then I see mixed in with that, the very thing that I talked about earlier 
of what I, where I'm seeing everywhere, of what I'm seeing everywhere, which is that mindset of, well, let's tr you can just treat someone the most foul you can verbally, and then afterwards just tell them, well, nothing you say can make them feel anything, and, you know, scot-free. Not much different than, uh, well, you know, you just did something awful, and now you can say, uh, uh, Lord and Jesus, uh, forgive me for blah, 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 uh, in Jesus' name, amen, right? And now you're forgiven. But, you know, now you can be forgiven by just making a statement afterwards. Nothing I say can make you feel anything. And then it's all cool. Well, you're just a pussy if, if, uh, if you get hurt by something someone says. Doesn't matter if it's online or anywhere. You're just a pussy. You're just wussy. You're not a man enough. And if you're a woman and you, you act that way, you know, you have that, well, you know, that's just how women are. Weak. Right? This cultural shift I'm seeing, that we're somewhere probably between 15 and 20 percent already there, and this is before Trump has even been elected. You think I'm not supposed to pay attention to that? You think I'm not supposed to say something about that? You think that's not something to be a little terrified of? I can't even recall the types of things that I'm seeing all over the place now. I can't even recall seeing that when I was little. You know, 79, 1979 to, you know, 1984. I can't even recall hearing that kind of shit then. And it's all come up in this very short period of time. And I'm not trying to say before someone gets all over my case, well, you know, we're not all like that and we, we believe in some of this and some of this, not, whatever. It's, it's, this is a combined thing that's going on in our society. I'm not trying to say each one of you believes in all this stuff that I'm trying, that I'm mentioning. I, I'm, I'm talking about a generalized cultural shift. And it seemed for so long we were going to, to start heading back towards a more of a hippie sort of thing. And then just somehow it just came, came crashing down. Probably because some people on the left have just been taking it too far and have been uh, uh, using terms that should be about educating people as uh, pejoratives, right? But the Trump thing? It's terrifying. And the closer and the more it seems like he could become president, the worse people are getting. The nastier people are getting. I'm not supposed to pay attention to that. Let me put it to you this way, and I, I already posted this on, on Twitter and, and some other places, right? I'm wondering if, if Trump unfortunately gets elected, will the hashtag uh, drink bleach for Trump start trending? Because... And that would be people who would just give up. See, one of the problems with people who have that whole um, nothing I say can make you feel anything kind of mindset, people who have put on that kind of mindset, those that are not good at that, which are most left-wingers are not good at that, they can try, but they fail miserably. It's not in, it's not in those... It's not in the, the, uh, the more creative side of things. It's not in our nature. It's not in the left's nature to be like that. 
we can try to keep up, but we're not going to be, we can't beat out the a right wing kind of mindset when it comes to verbally trying to make people feel like shit about themselves. We, we just, we're not good at it. And if there's some sort of a, a situation where it, there's no way to fight back because we just, we don't have those skills. We have skills in other places, places that, that those that are, that are in that right word kind of mindset. And I'm just calling it that, you know, you can, well, it's not really right. Just shut up. You, please try to pay attention to what I'm saying as far as this cultural shift and stop paying attention to the damn labels I'm using. And then I mess myself up and having to con continue to, to correct myself on that. It's constant. It'll offend one side or the other, or both. But the, the people that are the right word type of mindset, that I'm calling that generically, they are very, very good at the nothing I say can make you feel anything kind of thing. They're very good at that. And the left sucks at it. And if, if, if there's no way for those on the left to fight back against that kind of stuff on the right, this is what results. Whether right or wrong, that is what results. And if Trump becomes president and he starts to implement things that remove the safety nets from the poor, violence will be the result. And quite frankly, you can't really put that on those that are affected by it. Because some of the only things that keep us from acting like most of the rest of the animal kingdom, let's just say lions, tigers, whatever, right? And bears. Um, the only thing that keeps us from acting that same way is the fact that we have a civilization. And when that civilization shows that they don't give a shit about those that are not in the majority, it, that's when we start to see the return of our violent instincts. Right or wrong, that's the result. If Trump does things that puts me on the street, that might even make it so my mother, I, I would be on the street and my mother may not even be able to be at a nursing home or something if I'm not even able to be there because now she can barely walk. She's having major problems now. This shit gets personal and 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 she can't she can't afford to survive. I end up being on the street. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna riot, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck it is that I need to do to survive. Whatever that is. Which will probably be crime oriented. Because that's what happens. When people feel they have no hope, that's what happens. And if Trump gets elected, and we keep this, we, we continue this, well, nothing I say can make you feel anything kind of mindset. And we remove the safety net from people. This country's done. Done. There will be no order if something like that occurs. And quite literally, nothing is off the table.
There's a reason why we've had to add so many amendments to the Constitution. That's because the Constitution didn't, didn't take into consideration a lot of things. And there are some flaws in the mindset when it comes to the Constitution. It didn't really take into consideration any sort of significant kind of diversity. It certainly didn't take into consideration the way technology has changed society. It didn't save us then, it's not going to save us now. If we look to the future, that can save us. Using science to try to find answers as to how to, uh, you know, and psychology and knowing what human nature is. Having a real understanding of that and taking the appropriate steps. We can, uh, we can continue to survive in the future. We're not going to survive by grasping onto the past. We're not going to survive by being the worst people that we can. And that's what Trump brings out in everyone, including me. Trump brings out the worst in everyone. There are people that are like this. You run into it in your life whether in person, whether it's a, a, a TV personality, whether it's a, a, a politician, there are people who bring out the worst in us. There are people who bring out the best in us. Those are the people that we usually look up to. But when people are looking up to someone who has that nothing I say can make you feel anything, kind of mindset, we're in trouble. We're in serious trouble. So yeah, I'm terrified of a Trump presidency because I've already seen how just the possibility of him becoming president has changed our society. Do you think I want to see it go the rest of the way that way? Oh, hell no. No. 